Hi friends. We are Trip Jolly. We are a couple who love to travel. We are coming up with the initiative to share the stories of other Trip Jollies just like us. There are a lot of couples who love to travel and inspiring us to travel. So we are bringing their stories to you. Hello, my name is Hee Kyung. Hi, my name is Jordi. And we're the Lifetime Travel Mates. We met in Seoul, South Korea in 2010 when I was studying there. And after three years of relationship, we got married. We always love to travel. Our first trip together was to Tokyo. While living in Korea, Japan is very close and we ended up going there many times. We also went to Barcelona, Jordi's hometown to visit and see his family a few times. We got married four years ago and decided to start saving for doing a big trip around the world someday. <laughs> We sold almost everything, left our house, packed two backpacks and started this trip. We left Korea October 2017. And so far, we have been in Japan, Taiwan, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and now we are in India. Traveling as a couple has lots of benefits. We always have somebody to share your feelings with. I don't mean that traveling alone is bad. I like traveling alone but sometimes when you go somewhere, you can feel like, oh, I want to share this moment with somebody. And luckily we have each other and share every moment and it becomes very special. Second, we get to try many different things. For example, when we go to a restaurant and there are so many options to choose from, we can order different things and we get to try more variety. <laughs> we split and share everything. Third, we encourage each other. Traveling is not just continuous joyful moments. Sometimes your plan does not go as you expected or you get tired or have emotional breakdown. We know each other and we can be honest with our feelings and also know how to cheer up each other. That really helps to keep moving on and refresh ourselves. Of course, we also argue like many other couples. But at the end of the day, we realize we are traveling with our most favorite person. That's why we call ourselves Lifetime Travel Mates. We enjoy nature, trying local food specialties, and meeting local people to learn their culture. And we like to travel slow, spend long time in places rather than rushing to touristy spots. One of the main travel spending is for accommodation. We try to save money by doing couch surfing, work away, and house sitting. Not only saving money, but we also had great time hanging out with locals and experience the real local life, especially through court surfing and work away. We volunteered in some places living with locals. That gives special opportunities too. You get to know deeper the culture and maybe get to see things or go to places that as a normal tourist you cannot find easily. Or if you love animals and need some time to slow down, house sitting can be a great option. You stay for free in a house in exchange for taking care of the pets and the house. Also, we try to control our spending and manage our budget. We use some mobile application and quickly see how we are spending most of our money. In some countries, it can be the food, in some other, the transportation, in others, the activities and tickets to places. So we know how to balance for the next destination. Another tip we want to give you is that we move mostly by land. Flights can be expensive and with buses or trains, we get a much deeper feeling of traveling. And you can see more than landscape and maybe meet interesting people. Also, the limit of luggage is more strict in flights than in land transportation. We hope you liked this video and thanks to Trip Jody for featuring our story. Good luck to you guys. Come to our channel and join us on our trips. And if it happens that we are on the same area, maybe we can hang out and travel together for a while. See you guys. See you.